Hey, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about a different type of free DAW called Audacity. I use it for low-level mastering and prepping the VO. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check on the audio setup here and make sure okay our playback device says that's my my playback input and then the recording is the usb recording so the next thing we want to do is we want to click on the little gear here and make sure that we are set to minutes and seconds versus beats and measures because we're worried about time at this point one of the things i learned how to do recently is change the color of audacity so you go to the preferences which is added preferences and then there's things that says interface and you can go ahead and choose light is the standard default but i want a darker one so we're going to go back to edit preferences and interface is still on there and then i'm going to choose dark and hit ok it looks a little something like that i like that a lot better but what you can do now is you can just hit record and uh, you see the levels move right there when you record with the microphone and the inputs. Uh, I'm going to hit stop now because I want to show you some basic editing stuff. The first thing to show you is how to delete a section. Like this end piece right here, I want to get rid of. So I'm going to go ahead and left click on that, pull it all the way to the end, highlight it, and then just press the delete button. You can also do that in edit, delete right here if you wanted to, but it's it's easier to do that way. And to adjust the output volume, you, have, you go up to the top here and you can drag that cord you want it to go. And you should just be automatically recording because the, we set up the input earlier. So in order to navigate to the front or the end of the clip, you've got these two buttons here. That takes you to the end and the other one takes you to the front. Okay, so now I wanna show you guys how to remove blank spaces and not delete them, just remove them. Okay, right there, there's a breath. I'm gonna highlight it by holding the left button. You gotta zoom in a little bit first. Okay, that's fine. And there's a button right here that says remove audio selection. And that mutes it basically. Problem is I made a mistake. Usually I compress the whole audio first. First thing you want to do is switch the view over here to linear DB on the left hand side. Then you want to select everything, select all, right there. Next step is to go to the effects and then volume and compression and then compressor. So yeah, there's only a couple of things to change here. Um, the threshold and the ratio. Ratio, I usually leave it around two. Um, that's fine, that's the, the ratio. And then threshold, you take that to about negative six or negative eight. The other thing I do is called normalization. So I'm going to take this little end piece here. It looks a little bit quieter than the rest. And I'm going to go to effects, volume and compression and normalize. And then I'm going to adjust that to negative one and hit apply. And you can see how that's a little bit more in line with everything else. So the third thing that I use a lot when I'm working with voiceover is I use the fade out. So I'm going to take the end of this. If you see a lot of noise back there, you can highlight the tail end of something and then go to effects, fade and fade out. 
Okay, now that you're done with everything, you want to export this. So we're going to go to File, Export Audio. You're going to name that file. I'm just going to go put it in the folder where I normally keep all of my video stuff. I make an audio only folder for that stuff too. And there we go. And I'm going to hit save. And then export. Very important you hit export afterwards because you're not actually done when you hit save. You just save the name. So if you had to reset all the settings on Audacity, you may have to switch the input back to mono if you're doing a voiceover. So that's right in here. You're gonna switch that to mono so that when you hit record, it will record in mono. If you have it selected in stereo and you accidentally record something like, like I'm doing right here, all changes happen after you hit stop. So once you hit stop here, you can go to the blank space on the track here and right click on it and go to split stereo to mono. Now you can just throw one of the tracks away because they're duplicates of each other. So just X out of this one and now you have a mono track.